Chem hamaya ki che beshmesh varima teki che. So we begin with chapter 12. Narayana said, the Jambu Dipa has the has been described. How it is and what it its width. It is surrounded on all sides by the salt ocean. As Meru is surrounded by Jambu Dipa, so the salt ocean is surrounded by Paksad Dipa, twice its size. As the ditch is surrounded by gardens, so the salt ocean is surrounded by gardens. As the Jambu tree exists in Jambu Dipa, so the Paksa tree exists in the Paksa Dipa and of the same size. The name Plaksa Dvipa is derived from the name of the Plaksa tree. This tree is of golden color. Fire exists at the bottom with form incarnate. This is named Sapta Chitripa. The ruler of this island is Ishamajiva, the son of Priya Ratra. He divided his island into seven varsas and distributed them to each of his seven sons, and he himself took refuge of the path of yoga, so much liked by the known of self, and he got the Bhagavan Vasudeva. The names of these seven dvipas are Shiva, Yavas, Yupada, Santi, Santi, Sina, Am, Amrata, Apaya, seven rivers and seven mountains exist respectively in the seven islands. The rivers are Aruna, Nirna, Andrasi, Sav, Savitri, Suprabhatika, Tamaspara, and Satya Bara. The names of the mountains are Manikuta, Varukuta, Indrasthina, Joytirsmana, Subarana, Hiranya Shiva, and Meghama. The seeing and drinking of these waters of the water of these rivers take all sins and all darkness due to ignorance away. The inhabitants of this Kwaksa Dupa live for 1,000 years and all are of variegated wonderful appearances. They follow the customs and usages dictated by the Vedas and worship the gods for the attainment of heaven. The mantra by which the worship is done is this. We take refuge unto the sun, who is the body manifest of the ancient person Vishnu, and who is the ordainer of satya, truth, rita, straight forwardness, brahma, amrata, immortality, and mutual death. O Narada, of all the persons here, they live long of vigorous senses, with energetic, powerful intelligence, enthusiastic and various everyone and valorous. Everyone gets extraordinary powers of themselves. Next to this Kwaksa Dvipa is the Ikshu Ocean. This Ikshu Sagara or ocean surrounded by the Kwaksa Dvipa. Next comes Salmala Dvipa. It is twice as large as Kwaksa. This dvipa is surrounded by the Surasagara, the ocean of wine. This is a tree. There is a tree named Salmali in this island, which is as large as the Plaksa tree. The high souled Garuda resides on this tree. Yagna Bahu is the ruler of this place. He was born a Priya Ratra. He divided his parts into seven parts and distributed each of these <clears throat> to his seven sons respectively. Now 
hear the names of the spouses. Surakana, Sulman Asya, Ramana, Deva, Varsa, Parabhadra, Abhyayana, and the Janata. Seven mountains and seven rivers exist there respectively. The names of the mountains are Sarasa, Satchasuga, Ramadeva, Kandaka, Kamuda, Pushpa Varsa, and Saharsa Shruti. Now, hear the names of the rivers. Anumati, Sinivati, Saravati, Kuhu, Rajani, Nanda, and Raka. There are, these are the seven rivers. The people worship the Bhagavan Moon, the controller of all and the creator of all the Vedas. They offer food duly in the black and the white fortune night to their Pitris. The mantra for their worship is, let the king of all be pleased. O Narada, next to Surasagara is Kusadvipa, surrounded by Pratasagara, the ocean of clarified butter. In dimensions, its dimensions are twice as large. Here are blades of kusa grass of a very resplendent color. The name of the dweepa is from the kusa stamba. The spandal of kusa illumines all the quarters with their gentle rays. The ruler of the dweepa is Hiranyarata, the son of Priyavrata. He divided the dweep into seven parts and distributed each of them to each of his seven sons, respectively. The names of the seven sons are Vasu, Vasudana, Dritta, Ru, Rui, Navigupta, Stuta, Vratra, Vivikta, and Vamadevaka. There are seven mountains forming the seven boundaries, and so are the seven rivers. Here are the names of these. <coughs> the names of the mountains are Chakra, Katarisrik, Kapila, Sitri Devanika, Kucha, Urda Roma, and Dravina. The names of the rivers are Rasa Kulya, Madhu Kulya, Mitra Vinda, Stuta Vinda, Deva Garba, Brat Achyat, and Mantra Malika. The inhabitants of Kusa Dwipa drink the waters of these rivers and they all are powerful like Indra and the other chief devas, and all of them are omniscient. They worship the fire god and perform various good works in honor of him. Their mantra is this, O fire, thou carriest the oblations directly to Parabrahma in the sacrifices of the devas, thou worshipest that personal god and offers to him whatever are given in oblations, mentioning the respective limbs of his body. Thus the inhabitants of this dweepa worship the fire god. Here is the 12th chapter of the 8th book of the narration of Paksa, Sama, Allah, and Kusa dweepas in the Mahapuran, Srimad Devi Bhagavatam, of 18,000 verses by Maharishi Veda Vyasa. Jai Maha Maya Ki Jai Vishvesh Bhadi Maha Ki Jai Bhule Baba Ki Jai